Thanks so much for checking out this video. We are going to be co-streaming and watching together the brand new Star Wars Outlaws official story trailer. If you're watching the past broadcast, just skip ahead by 20 minutes. Sometimes I remember to chapter these, but if I don't, it's really easy. You can see over there it says 20 minutes. Just skip ahead. I'm uh, going to give you my thoughts on this. Now, I did a stream and a monologue and a show this morning about Star Wars Outlaws and why I'm concerned. If you're interested in my thoughts, I might rehash some of this here. I also went on a massive rant about Obi-Wan and how great Andor is. So I'm going to end that stream and bring everybody over. If you want to go see any of that, that is available as a past broadcast on the channel. Uh, And we had a great day with members 42 members on the day. I have gifted five already. Every 25, I give five. So I gifted for the first 25. We're really close to another 25 milestone. We are going for uh, 2,300. And uh, I did I set up? I think I set up redirect. I do everything on autopilot now. So hopefully redirect worked because I don't know if I hit read. I don't even know if I hit redirect at this point. Now I do so much without thinking when I'm switching uh, from stream to stream to stream. So, uh, appreciate you guys. As you come over from the redirect, as you push the button or come back to the page or come back to the YouTube channel uh, and and watch this with us, make sure you guys are smashing that like button. Give us our first 100 likes. Yeah, I don't think I redirected. I think I messed up the redirect. I don't know if I did it or not. Did any of you guys get redirected? I don't know if I did it properly. I I, I think I actually forgot to do it. I don't know. Um... Usually, if I don't do it, it, I catch it. I'm like, oops, I forgot to do it. And then I go back and do it. But I did. Okay. Okay. It redirected. Okay, cool, 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 cool. It doesn't seem like it's giving me the right count yet. It might just... Oh, there, there it goes. There it goes. It showed me like 60, 70 people. And I was like, I think I messed up. Now it shows over 200. Okay, that worked. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Well, help us out. Help us jumpstart the stream. Uh, help us jumpstart the stream. Smash that thumbs up. That really, really helps out, especially when we already have 200 people within seconds of a stream starting. Uh, gift a member. Become a member. If you want to make sure you get into the extra content that we do, pick that $6 member tier. If you want to talk in my chat, hit subscribe. Um, you guys are getting extra notifications right now, and we're uh, we're not really sure um, why that's been happening. Um, which is, you know, a little frustrating and, uh, you guys will get a notification for the live stream and then you'll get a notification for it later whenever it, uh, whenever it closes. Oh, Witchfire is getting its first major update in early access. Um, quality of life updates, request a quick key to dive into the update, Witchfire first major patch of the Dark Souls shooters available galleon update so i have to request a key to get into the new update did they push it out yet or not i really really like that game five members coming in already from siege master thank you so much taking us to 47 members on the day what a great start we already have 70 likes we already have over 300 people here guys thank you so so much if you guys have not checked out Witchfire, it is in early access in the epic store it's really really good the guns handle like destiny um and it's like a rogue it's a really really good game i really really hope they can get it into a great place and then bring it to the consoles because i think people would love it on console especially fans of destiny how do you upgrade from the gifted on your iphone iphone is really really hard to upgrade because you have to do it through a browser and you can't do it through the app and stone spire gifts a member and inches is a little bit closer to 50 thank you so much all the more closer to me having to gift another five members and getting us closer to the 2500 goal we're trying to get to 2500 members this week you guys did hit 2300 last week so this week on friday night my wife and i will be playing a rage game together it's like jump king for two players and then if you get to 2500 we have to play one of my favorite games we'll be playing Ghost of Tsushima and we'll see if we can't do some of the duels with two controllers that's a setting on Playstation that you can do so you can turn any game into a two player game so thank you guys so much for being here smashing like and hanging out I hope this trailer is uh, I hope it's good and uh, I'm excited I am concerned about this game. I am concerned about anything that, you know, Disney touches with respect to Star Wars or Marvel. Uh, They tend to want to push quantity over quality. And I think that can hurt. I think it's hurts. I think it's hurt some of the shows like Obi-Wan. I think it's it hurt Jedi Survivor when it released. Uh, It clearly needed more time. So if you guys are lurking from the first show and you kind of road redirect over and you're still hanging with us, 
350 people here already thank you so much take a second and come out of lurk mode so you can take a second and smash the like button maybe spam some emotes do some of those things that kind of get the chat moving and humming maybe tell us what you're looking for uh the most uh and beat saber gets another release uh hip-hop mixtape uh, just dropped so new content dropping you know all over the place um which, which email did they send that witch fire thing to um i'm actually curious where are they doing this? Okay, I'm actually going to see if I can't get a key for that. If there, if I do need um, the uh, the update. Yo, what's good, Genghis Khan? How are you? Actually, I don't want to use um, that. I'm going to use this quick little flash of the browser there. I got two browsers open. I can do it. I can get both. Uh, request a key. Where are they doing this? Oh, they're doing it on terminals. Star Wars? Yes. Yes. I have been following Star Wars Outlaws since that very first trailer. I've read interviews. Um, If you guys aren't aware uh, from some of the interviews, they're actually using... um, This game looks really cute, too. It's like a Metroidvania called Akatori. Um, it gets a prologue of chapter one on April the 19th. That must be early access. They are, um, to be fair, when the movie came out, it was extra dark for no reason. It has been brightened up since it was the first thing after the last Jedi. Oh, solo was really dark. I didn't know that. Um, yeah. So one of the things, uh, Lono never greets me. Zinthos, what do you need a greeting for? You got a red badge. How many greetings over the years have you not received versus how many you have received? Hello, Zinthos. Chat, can everybody can everybody say hello, Zinthos? We don't want Zinthos to feel like they're being ignored. Zinthos, how are you? I hope you're I hope you're doing great, man. You're the best. Uh already covered this once uh would love to cover the update add request make sure and say hello to him um mm -mm. Mm -hmm. okay there we go uh and then delete this login warning okay there we go hello lona what's good drumming And, uh, and guys, make sure, uh, make sure that you guys smash the like button. We need 10 more likes to get the first 100 likes. That's a huge, huge help to us. I want greetings too. All I ever get is having most of my comments read. I want more. (laughs) You feel greeted, Zenthos? That's interesting. I didn't know that Solo did that. Sorry, I interrupted myself. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but this was one of the things that really uh, excited me about Star Wars Outlaws. They're actually mimicking what uh, movie lenses in the 1970s and 80s looks like. That's why, uh, in particular, the scene when she gets to the cantina and talks to the droid, just the lighting and the feel of the game just looks so, so good. Green Monster with a $5 super chat says, to change tier on iPhones, go to channel, select perks, then change tier. That has not worked for a lot of people, but you guys can try that as well. On your iPhone, you can go to the channel, and then you can select perks, and then you can select change tier. We would love to see. Currently, we have about 500 people who are at that that tier or higher. So about 500 people can watch the writer's room. I would love for that number to be 600. I would love for a lot of you to consider upgrading and get off that gifted tier. Uh, it'll make room for others. Uh, we really need more people to take take charge of that ownership of just supporting the channel directly. If you can, I know plenty of you cannot uh, afford it, and that's totally fine. That's why we like to gift members. But for those of you who can't afford it, if you're like, man, I listen practically every day. This is like my radio, like my podcast. You know, if you appreciate that full-time streaming from me, uh, that's one of the ways we're able to do it. You will notice if you look at this channel, we're not a particularly large channel. Uh, we don't even have 50,000 subscribers, and yet we stream every single day, Monday through Friday. I am a full-time content creator, and it's only possible because of the, uh, because of the members and the gifting. I would not be able to do it uh, without you guys. That is like a genuine form of transparency. So you guys are the sponsors of the show, right? I'm not sitting here running a sponsored stream every other day for, you know, 
what's that one stream that game everybody promotes i get offers from them all the time and i i uh i shut that down i decline those i'm sorry well what is it raid shadow legends yeah i've gotten you know four or five offers from them i can turn down those types of sponsored deals i don't have to do them because i'm uh i'm able to to do this because of you guys yeah Upgrading on your iPhone's really, really inconsistent, Skylar. You have to do it on a browser, and even then, if you try to do it on a browser on your phone, um, it will commonly just try to open up the app anyway, which isn't helpful because you're trying to not use the app. So sometimes I've even encouraged people, delete the app, open browser, log in through the browser, and change it through the web browser, and you can try that. But then, obviously, that's that's not as convenient. Um I wish it would make it way more convenient. The reason they're not too keen on letting you upgrade on iPhone is because iPhone wants their cut. They want to take a cut of every dollar you spend through apps in their in their uh, operating system. Don't yeah, don't hold your breath on this becoming a Raid Shadow Legends channel. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. One of my guitar dudes was talking about how the direct support isn't making him wealthy, but it lets him be really picky about sponsorships. That's a really great way of putting it. Yes, it, 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 it creates a steady baseline so that I can sort of, you guys like, you know, you want experimentation, you want gameplay, you want new segments, new ideas. Well, you know, when the member count on a channel's rock solid, that does help a, a creator do that. When you're not fearful of like, oh, I have to ride the relevancy and the search and what's hot. It's like, no, I have a, I have a, a group of people that, you know, that, that believe in what we're doing and, uh, and are keeping, keeping things going. So that is, that is pretty significant. I'll, I will say that. Um, let's see here. Star Wars Outlaws trailer. There it is. Official story trailer. Yeah. We're, we're in the, we're in a pretty good place, uh, on the platform. Um, right now, yeah, we're in a good place on the platform, even in uh, incognito. So thank you, YouTube. Thank you to everybody who may have found this video uh, on YouTube. If it was suggested to you, if it was on your homepage, usually I am in this scene doing a talk show. We already did our talk show today. We uh we talked about why I'm kind of concerned for this game, even though I'm like super super anticipating it. So we appreciate you guys being here, deciding to watch the trailer with me, which goes live in seven minutes. So we greatly, uh, greatly appreciate your support of the channel. Looks like some of you guys are finding me through search results. So thank you for that. If you search for the trailer and you found me, uh, name of the channel is Reforge Gaming. I am safe for work and the talk show that I do. Uh, people tend to throw me on in the background because I'm safe for work. They can kind of leave me on and they don't got to worry about what I'm going to say. So consider hitting subscribe, consider hitting the bell button. If you like listening to gaming talk shows like this Monday through Friday, uh, also consider don't rely on the YouTube homepage. Sometimes you got to go to your subscriber feed and that's a great reason to get into our discord. You'll never miss a show that way. And we are two members away from 50. And then when we hit that, I have to gift five to the community and, uh, that enables you to get into our discord, uh, member rooms and all of the different, uh, ways to link up sorry link up with people and play games together good to see you good to see you Zephyrus I'm fine thank you for asking he can be really picky is that a guitar joke (laughs) it is now (laughs) so we were at an Easter parade and my son got a guitar pick and he was like oh man he's like I gotta get a guitar now and I'm like that's not the way that it works I'm not buying you a guitar you, you fight us on piano lessons as it is. Like, do your piano, practice the piano, you know, and we'll, we'll talk in a couple of years, you know. I don't know if the Star Wars Outlaws is good because I'm such a huge fan of Star Wars, but the Ubisoft track record recently got me worried. Um, I, here's the thing. Avatar was good, but it was too familiar. There was no glaring flaws in Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, what a pile of trash. Looked beautiful, ran well, you know, a lot of content. It was just too familiar. Does that make sense? Get him Guitar Hero. Get that boy a guitar. Yeah, he's he's eight, okay? He's eight. 
So he he can he can do piano for a couple of years. And then guitar will be significantly easier for him. Piano is the catalyst to the instrument world. We all know this. We all know this. <clears throat> This is one game I'm hopeful. I love Star Wars growing up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was boring. What? Right, but understand what I'm saying about Avatar. I'm not saying it was award-winning. I'm not saying that it didn't deserve criticism. I just think some of the criticism was overstated. There were no glaring flaws or problems. There's been a lot of crappy games and a lot of really, really bad shape games, like needing patches, being buggy, being glitchy. There's been plenty of games that have committed far worse offenses. Like I just say, I think Avatar was just, it was like good, not great. It was like good, not, not exceptional. And I think that people had a hard time because of the familiarity and it being similar to Far Cry. We had somebody in chat that was like, I never played a Far Cry. I loved it. And I always said that. I'm like, anybody who's never played a Far Cry would probably play through Avatar Frontiers of Pandora and be like, this is actually a really great game. Like, nobody was judging it as a game. They were judging it as a game that was similar to Far Cry. And if you've never played a Far Cry, you're like, I don't understand the problem. And I think that's one of the greatest difficulties right now is familiarity breeds contempt so the minute a game feels familiar to another game you're running the risk of being like boring the player quicker or them feeling like the game's all too familiar and they've played it before that's always going to be a challenge so they didn't make a bad game you know they didn't make a bad game they made a game that was too similar to Far Cry I don't know I started with saxophone no piano well his piano is a part of his school, so... I think I've got it under control, guys. I think, you know... 42 years old, I'm a dad of a 10-year-old and an 8-year-old. I think I've got it. I think I've got it in hand. I had fun with Avatar, hoping that Outlaws is fun with a great story. I'm all for an engaging story. I like the Far Cry loop, just didn't like Avatar. Um, I like the Far Cry loop too, and I'm kind of curious if I went back to Far Cry now, how would I feel? I'm sorry, if I went back to Avatar now, how would I feel? Would I feel like it's too much like Far Cry? Um, because I had to take a break from it because other games came out, but I remember the last time I played, I remember getting a little annoyed with the hunting, you know? I remember getting a little annoyed with the hunting. It was like, I was just trying to get this, this thing, this skin to drop, and it was like for a very minor upgrade. And I couldn't get it. And I was like, dude, I'm not wanting to do this. I, I, it's not The hunting gameplay isn't compelling enough to drag it out. It should be pretty short-lived. And then I get back to the main gameplay loop. Does that make sense? So. Let's ask Creature if uh, Lono should get the kid a guitar. A creature's, creature's not going to agree with you guys. He's going to side with me. You think a dad is going to agree with backseat dadding? No. I'll probably grab Avatar in the summer. If you can get Avatar Frontiers of Pandora on sale and you want something to play during a gaming drought, I think you'd be very pleased. I really do. I think it's a very solid game. It really is. Like, it, like I just think it, you know, full price, similar to Far Cry, and that was enough. People are like, no, this isn't, this isn't the, I don't want to play this, you know? And I get it. I do. I understand why people felt that way. I really do. I know if I buy another one, I want a ton to play it, so it's pointless. Um, you guys are talking about something else, I think. I don't think you're talking about games. If you guys get that second notification um, for my streams, like when a stream is over and then it processes, um, if you get that second notification... I am sorry about that. I don't have any control over that. I'm going to double check right now. They keep telling me that I should be able to go into the settings and turn that off after I'm no longer streaming. Uh, I don't seem to have the ability to do that. Um, it's, it's going to hit sub feeds and it's going to hit noties. I, the, the box is, is always grayed out. Yeah, it's grayed out. So I don't know if, you know, temporarily unlisting the video for a second would jar it and make it not do it, but I worry about that affecting how the video stands in the algorithm. Yo, Abe gifts a member and puts us on the doorstep of 50. Who's going to steal the glory? 
49 out of 50. We hit 50. I owe you five more. And Raijin does it and takes us to 50 right before the trailer starts. And then Abe is the agent of chaos. Raijin swoops in, steals the glory. And then William Lewis tried to swoop in and steal the glory. And he was a little too slow. 52 out of 75. I now owe you guys five members. The premiere is going to begin shortly and should have a timer. So I'll give you guys audio once that happens. The timer for premieres is usually like deafeningly loud so I will not be doing that there's the five members that I owe you guys thank you so so much getting us even closer to our goal Uh, we're trying to hit 2500 members Uh, we hit 2300 last week and right now we are at 2215 so you guys are about 200 members away Uh, because my fives get added every time so 200 members would give you an extra 40 so 240 on top of 215 that's really close you basically need about 200 more members so we can we can continue working on um, we can continue working on that uh, throughout the week. There we go. Starting in fifty five seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go full screen, and then I'm going to change my cap card. Oh wait, hang on. I got to un. Oh no, I got it unmuted. I got the browser unmuted. Uh, let's turn off annotations. Let's make sure we're there, and then let's turn off. Okay, I'm going to refresh it. And then I, I like to turn off the player controls. I have an extension that lets me do that. There we go. That way, if I bump the mouse, you don't suddenly see it. I don't have any audio. Hang on a second. Let me turn my music off. Yeah, there's no audio coming from them. Um... Let me make sure YouTube is actively working and sending audio. Uh, Gavin's amazing. Yeah, it is. Represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Pikes, Crimson Dawn, Huts. It's a golden age for the underworld. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy, but they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. It's an opportunity to make millions. Kay Vess, the underworld's favorite new scoundrel. We meet at last. What do you want? Zarek Besh. They're new, rich, and lethal. You crossed their boss, Sliro, and now he wants you gone. Rob his fortune and buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. I'm in. Out here, you live and die by your reputation. You want to survive? Know the players. You're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. Daba, right? Look, don't try anything. I got a whole crew surrounding this. Okay, we're skipping that part. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Doing what we have to, to survive. This job is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew. And the right ship. Because you were one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. She's more connected than you let on, Sliro. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The Outer Rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all. Star Wars Outlaws pre-order available now. There's confirmation too. August 30th. There's confirmation of the release date. Um, I'm gonna. I want to rewatch that with the uh, with the audio turned down a teeny bit. That was really loud. Each of you. 
I'm just going to say initial impressions, the setup and the scenes and the locations, awesome. Writing is fine. I think some of her lines aren't that great. Um, I, you know, that's, that's always a little bit of a concern. I'm, I remember feeling that way when we were hearing some of the early lines from, uh, for spoken. Um, so I think the setup is good. I think the environments are good. I think the gameplay, please. It was literally a story trailer. You shouldn't have expected gameplay. Music's kind of mad. No, the music I thought was fine. I, I just, I think some of the writing is... I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting the, I'm getting Forspoken vibes. Powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Pikes, I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks good. I think it looks good. I don't think anything I saw was bad. Some of the writing and some of her lines, I did, I did not like. Like this guy's great. But they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. It's an opportunity to make millions. Yo, thank you, Wolf Saints, for seven months. The underworld's favorite new scoundrel. We meet at last. What do you want? Zarek Besh. They're new, rich, and lethal. You crossed their boss, Sliro, and now he wants you gone. Rob his fortune, and buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. I'm in. Out here, you live and die by your reputation. You want to survive? Know the players. You're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. Daba, right? Look, don't try anything. I got a whole crew surrounding the... Okay, we're skipping that part. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. Doing what we have to, to survive. This job is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew. And the right ship. the best hunters in the Outer Rim. She's more connected than you let on, Sliro. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The Outer Rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all. Star Wars Outlaws pre-order available now. It's just not consistent writing. Like at the end there, she's like, you know, everybody's trying to get their piece of the galaxy and I just want to live free. So she should have said something to the effect of, so I don't really have a choice, but she says, so I'm going to risk it all. Like, it sounds like how they talk about a game show. Like, she's going to risk it all to try to be a millionaire. Like, I don't, I, I do. I feel like the writing's inconsistent. Like, it, everything was fine with that line up to that point. It's like, you know, everybody's trying to fight for a piece of the galaxy. I just want to live free. So I don't have a choice. She should feel more like cornered instead of, so I'm going to risk it all. Like, it just sounds like really like late, almost like too laid back, like chintzy. And then here she's like, you know, this is life or death. I'm in. It's like, huh? Like, I don't know. I don't feel like the writing for her is particularly very good. I feel like the writing for all the other characters is great. And I mean, I, I again, I'm not trying to say that like, oh, I don't want to play as a girl. It's girl boss. No, it reminds me of Forspoken. It's like the, the lines are cheesy. Her lines are corny. I feel like she's reading from her diary a couple of times instead of being like this you know, low down dirty scoundrel. She's like, oh, I'm being forced into this, which I like that as a storyline that gives you a context for why she might choose. They give you the choice sometimes to do a good thing or a bad thing. So I think the setup is fine, but I think they just haven't given her particularly very good lines. I stopped expecting a strong narrative. The writing is in step with a large open world game. 
They could be taking sound bites from throughout the game and mashing it together. I remember my my spidey sense and my red flags went up for Forspoken and people said the same thing. So I hope I'm hope I'm wrong. I, I don't think the way that they've written her and the way she's delivering lines in this, I don't think is very good. I think everything else is fantastic, but I once again feel like we're getting like really cheesy lines and cheesy line delivery um, for a main character. It reminds me of Forspoken. Story trailer breakdown from the developer. How long is it? They have a four minute breakdown of the trailer. So is it different than what we just watched? Guys, do me a favor. There's over 500 of you here. We're kind of doing a Star Wars Outlaws story trailer reaction right now as I loop it. Smash that like button. Try to get us to our first 200 likes. Or spoken was linear narrative game. No, it was open world. Yeah. I love the setups and the scenes they've got her in. I think some of the action looks dope. She like slides on one knee, kicks the guy, pulls her gun out. I'm like, I I think it looks really, really good. I do. I just, I'm worried that we're going to get all that, that, that cliche criticism of like, yeah, it's just some girl boss game because they wrote her in kind of a corny way. I feel like maybe that's what they're going for they want her to be more light lighthearted and more innocent because if like they tried to make her look you know tough and visceral it would have made people you know not really buy it because she kind of doesn't look like that she does have a bit of a an innocent look to her like she looks young she doesn't look like she's seen a lot of action right i don't see any scars you know she's got you know a nice haircut you know all that pre-rendered cutscenes, i bet um. Yeah, I I don't mind any of the cutscenes now. Now Trill, somebody did a super chat and echoed something Trill said. Uh, a five spot from Street Shadow. As Trill Trill said, and I agree, facial animations look off, like they're at a different frame rate. Yeah, I think sometimes these whatever I, I think the engine they're using, like that little scene there, you know, I think faces and hair are a little awkward in Snowdrop. I think Snowdrop does a really good job with the um the environments and clothing i think they do a really good job with that but i do i agree i think the faces and the hair look a little funny sometimes uh, i love the inclusion of jabba um you know i think that line was okay she's like okay i guess we're just gonna skip that part you know she's like i've got the place surrounded this scene here where she's like for the longest time it's just being me and nicks or whatever the name of the little guy is it feels very diary, you know, which I don't like. It's like, it, again, that's where I get Forspoken vibes. This has Uncharted vibes, which I like. Um, I love the various members of her crew that we're getting some foreshadowing about, right? Like, we know he ends up with us. I don't know who that is. This guy's, you know, doing stuff with droids for us, probably helping upgrade our droid. I think she's trying to be lighthearted, kind of like New Girl doesn't know what she's getting into. Well, right, when she gets pulled away from the one guy and she's like, what's your problem? She certainly sounds more in line with, like, innocent character, doesn't really know what she's getting into. Um, which I think is more suitable for her character. The reveal made me think strong narrative-driven game with visuals and animations that fit that style. This trailer is a downgrade to me on all that I expect to give when I learn today. I don't agree with you. I still think that original cutscene where she decides not to bribe the the woman from the Empire, I still think you're going to get that. I still think you're going to get those poignant scenes. I feel like it's going to be closer to Uncharted than like an open world game with like a chintzy story. Like I don't think it's going to be have the gravity of Uncharted, but I think it's going to be similar to Uncharted where you have sneaky setup scenes, fighting scenes, um... You know, you know, narrative choices, little cutscenes and breakdowns, and things that you got to do. I, I, I still am very excited for the game. I am. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Sheriff Bruce Lee. I'm getting Forspoken vibes, but not nearly as bad. Like as soon as she had a couple of lines, I was just kind of like, I don't know. I, I don't. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not vibing with her yet. I hope. I hope I have my mind changed when I play the game. Um, I do. As solid gameplays Uncharted, uh, from what I've seen, yeah, the speeder bike sequence looked really good. The shootout scenes looked really good. Stealth looks good. Uh, space combat looks good. 
gives me the same vibes as Andromeda in terms of the writing and the way humor is used. I didn't play enough Andromeda to comment on that, but um, I love I love how much they're rooting her in the Star Wars world, though, with Jabba and Han Solo and Carbonite. I think that's good stuff. Yo, that's your 10th Super Chat Green Monster. $5 Super Chat. Not really feeling the voice actor uh, of the main character. She needed something a bit more rougher and condescending. It's, I, I'm telling you, it's got to be really hard right now to write a character that doesn't come across like disingenuous. Like if she was super cocky and mouthy, I think people would be like, yeah, they'd all roll their eyes and say, here we go. Another girl boss story. So I think it's probably a safer bet to make her more like the young green kid who's a little in over her head. Welcome back. Dan is a VIP. I think that's probably a better approach with the character. She's in over her head, like she's trying to start this ship here. So a little bit of humor of like, uh, I got to raise the ship seat because she's, you know, she's short. So I think there's some, I think that's probably a better route to take with her character than make her mouthy and cocky. People be like, ugh. like I think that would rub people the wrong way right now. So I think they probably made the right choice to not do that. She might get that way the more you play, which I think that creates good character arc. Like, she gets more confident. She gets more bold. You know, she's pulling her gun out on people, so she seems confident enough in her uh, in her way to, you know, handle herself with, you know, if she's in a shootout or a standoff. Why do I look at the droid and my brain immediately puts Idris Elba's voice to him? I can see that. I can see that. So, August 30th, Star Wars Outlaws release date is August 30th. Um, guys, can we get seven more likes on the video? I appreciate it. If you are at the $6 member tier or higher, you can come with us. We're going to be going to the writer's room, which is a segment where we plan the next day's show. You get to kind of see behind the curtain how, uh, how the show comes together, how thumbnails and POV are planned. And it also supports the channel directly. So thank you to everybody who has been upgrading or or has already upgraded. Sneaky Wolf with the $5 Super Chat tip says, I feel like she might start off kind of naive and innocent and she might get more gritty along the way. I would be totally open to that. I think that would be a good character arc. That would be a character arc that I would enjoy. It's better for her to get to the point that she's confident. Like One of the reasons I love the opening for Jedi Survivor is how cocky and how confident Cal Kestis is. It's such a great... like juxtaposition to how skittish and scared he is at the beginning of Fallen Order. You know, he's kind of like he doesn't want to say anything or do anything. And he's got some swagger at the beginning of Survivor. So I'm totally fine with her being a little naive, little innocent, little cheesy, you know, little, you know, she's reading from her diary. It's the first time she's kind of leaving her front door. You know, and then by the end, she's like she's a total scoundrel. Because they said you can go full scoundrel in this game if you want. You can you can uh, you can become a, a low life if you want. So let me set up redirect and let's get out of here. Nice 35 minute, 36 minute video for you guys to watch later. I'm going to give you guys a link to the writer's room. I appreciate the support. Solid day. Star Wars day. Got to rant about Obi-Wan. You know? And uh, we got to cover a game I'm looking forward to. So I'm going to put a link in chat. This is an opportunity to support the channel directly. If you want to come to this segment we're about to do, you got to pick a $6 membership. You can upgrade the tier you already have, or you can become a brand new member right now. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. Thanks so much for being a member or higher. If you are at that $6 tier or up, thank you so much. Those of you that are beyond VIP, though, at the $10, we continue to ask you to downgrade. I even did a community post asking you to downgrade. We want to just offer the three member tiers. Five is for gifted, six is full membership, and then VIP is above and beyond. Anything above that we don't want to have. We think that that's confusing. If you want to support the channel uh, more than just your membership, you can always super chat and you can always gift members. The same amount goes to me, but then we can have a more pure offering uh, with the member tiers. I'm going to end the previous stream where we watch the Star Wars Outlaws trailer together. Uh, Make sure you guys smash the like on way out uh, of that stream. And then I'm going to change that thumbnail.